In this video, I'll teach you how to make an interactive choose your own adventure presentation using PowerPoint. For this tutorial, we'll use an add-in for PowerPoint called iSpring Suite, which is probably one of the best tools for PowerPoint that I have ever seen. You can download it for free from iSpringSolutions.com. There's a 14-day trial and most people use it to create online courses or corporate trainings. But this time I will show you how easy it is to make a full interactive presentation with multiple paths and more. So after you download it and install it, if you open PowerPoint, you'll see that there's a new option on the ribbon right at the top called iSpring Suite 11. When you click on it, you'll have a bunch of new features. So for example, if you click on slide templates, you have access to a gallery of designs that you can import into your slides to make a presentation. As I mentioned, iSpring Suite is a tool to create educational courses. So there's also a huge library of characters to match different scenes. There's everything from people to animals and illustrations as well. If you click on custom characters, you can even create your own. You can pick the gender, the skin tone, the clothes, etc. If you click on backgrounds, there's a bunch of different options from offices to classrooms, etc. The tool that we'll use today is this one right here called Roleplay which allows you to create game-like interactive situations and you won't believe how easy it is to use. So we'll start by clicking on new role play. And this might look intimidating at first, but you only need to right click on this space and select new scene. Here's where we'll basically create all the scenes for our journey. So let's start by selecting a new character. There's already a bunch of different characters, but I'll click on add new one and select a PNG of a knight that I downloaded from Google Images. A small thumbnail with your image will show up in this area and you only need to click on it. Now let's move to the background tab. Again, there's a lot of backgrounds ready to use, but I'll add a new one of a medieval castle from my own files. Again, just click on the thumbnail to select it and then on close. So now if I click on images, you'll see that I have a character and a background. Amazing. Let's go back to the content tab and here's where we'll write the first part of the speech. I'll also select an emotion for the character, which in this case I'll pick puzzle. And then it's time to add our replies. You can add as many as you like, but I'll add two different options. Because this one's a medieval journey, the first reply will be a message for the king. And the second one will be that I'm a traveler seeking refuge for the night. And then we'll click on close. Amazing, we have created our first scene. So now it's time to create two different scenes for each answer. Let's start with the first one, which is a message for the king. And just be mindful that this is a journey, so it's best to plan your story, but overall it's quite fun to do. You don't need to select a character and a background again, because it will take the one from the previous scene by default. And again, let's create a different scene for the second option, which was a traveler seeking refuge for the night. Again, let's add a couple of answers, and when you're done, just click on close. Amazing. So now what's left to do is to link the scenes. So just click on the link icon of the first answer from the first scene and drag it to the scene that you want to link, which in this case is scene number two. And the second answer will be linked to scene number three. Okay, it's time to preview if this works. So just click on the preview icon at the top and here is our first scene. So let's click on one of these answers and this works perfectly. Lastly, if you want to add a voiceover to each scene, you only need to right click on the scene and select voiceover. Here you'll have an option to record your own voice, to add an audio file or to select an AI voice. And that's the option that I'm going to click. So I'll pick a voice, which in this case is Jacob. And to preview how it sounds, just click on this button. I'm the knight protecting this castle. State your business. I really like that, so I'll just click on insert and then on close voiceover mode. Perfect. So the last thing to do is to click on save and return to content. And finally, just click on publish. Here you'll have an option to save it as a video or as an interactive HTML embedded into your slide. And that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know how you're planning to use iSpring Suite in your own presentations. I'll leave the link in the description box of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And I will see you on my next video.